Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 408. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to do a little something different. I'm going to share with you a podcast from someone who's a listener and had tremendous success with affirmations. This is something that really tickled me. I love seeing people put my teachings into practice and having success. And that's exactly what happened. There was someone who had posted on Instagram about using my affirmations and the success that they had. And so in this podcast, I actually interview her. Her name is Maria. And we talk about how she used affirmations and true statements the way I teach them to have success with getting a promotion, with weight loss, with paying off double digit debt, all kinds of things. And she's a photographer, so she also had some good things happen in her business. What I like about this is Maria is an everyday person. She's a person who is listening to and from work in her car. She turns on the podcast. She listens to the podcast while she's gardening. You know, all of the typical things that people do to listen to the podcast. And she took the information and she put it into practice. And then she got phenomenal results. So I wanted to share that with you just to encourage you. If you want to make a change in your life, I really do think affirmations create a wealthy mindset. And that is step one to wealth. And I wanted to share with you Maria's success, her story, so that you can see it can be done. And if it's something that you want to do to make a change in your life, get some financial things straightened out, make some progress, start changing your life, this is where you start. It does begin with mindset. And especially there is such a financial component to mindset. So without further ado, I'm going to share my interview with Maria with you. Here we go. So excited to have you on the podcast. Welcome. Thank you. I'm excited too. Well, I have to fill in for everyone listening, just a little bit of the background because I met you on Instagram. Yes. And one morning I got a message on my Instagram. You had tagged me and mm-hmm. I'm going to read the message. Is that all right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. So you put daily affirmations. I started using them after listening to a podcast by Linda P. Jones. She is all about mindset. I love that the most about her messaging. Her instructions are to insert true statements in between every affirmation. All I know is that after doing this, I've paid off three debts with double digit interest rates, got promoted at work, (laughs) have kept off 20 pounds since last July and photo ops are plenty. Definitely give episode 21 a listen and get your affirmations going. They really do work. Linda P. Jones, thank you. So that was the nicest thing, Maria, to wake (laughs) up to that and to have you tag me. And I mean, of course, hearing all those things that you accomplished first, congratulations. That's amazing. Really amazing. But I wanted to have you on the show to just have everyone hear your story and how you happen to find the podcast, how you Mm -hmm. happen to use the affirmations how they worked for you, how long it took, everything to help other people have success too. Okay, I, I hope I have some good answers. <laughs> um, I, I really, Linda, I really have no idea how I found your Instagram. I'm sure I, I was poking around and someone mentioned something and I was like, ooh, let me go ahead and listen to that. Um, but again, it's one of those things where I think, what is it when the student is ready, the teacher shows up or something like that, right? That's right, the teacher appears. <laughs> uh, like right. Yes, yes, and so, um, Yes, I just I started ended up listening to you, and I have like a it's like a fifteen twenty minute drive to work, um, and so I would of course you know pop you on and and listen and and uh, I uh, don't remember where I exactly started in the podcast. I think I started on a, a more recent episode, but then I was like, oh no, I have to go back. I have to like listen to everything, every single one of her over four hundred uh, episodes. 
Um, and so I started from the beginning and, um, you know, um, I started you know, listening to the, the, the steps, you know, and everything and it kept going and going. And then, you know, of course the podcast got shorter, which I actually liked because I like, I'm, you know, in this day of age, we, we like the short, you know, clips and stuff like that. Um, but the one that really resonated to me was the affirmations because I've heard, I've read about affirmations. I'm a big avid reader. I've always done like a lot of the self-help books and, and everything like that. Um, but I've never heard the affirmations in a way that you set it up where you say the affirmation and you immediately follow up with a true statement. And it's so crazy that I'm like, oh my goodness, because yes, if I ever did affirmations, I've tried them before. Right. But again, immediately your head starts going you to start arguing like, with yourself. Don't yes, you? Like, who yeah. are you? Like, really? Is that really true, Maria? Exactly. Um, your yeah, subconscious so, just gets into this argument and says, you're lying. You're not. This isn't true. This isn't the case. And be, before yes. you know it, it's you're, yeah, it's crazy. So that yeah. true statement really stops yes. all of that, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. And it was simple. I'm like, my name is Maria, right? Or if I would say my affirmation, my name is Maria. And it sounds so silly, but, you know, and I have my own, my, my true statements that I insert every time. And um, I guess I, I'm probably going to say, I don't know, maybe it's taken me at least, what, three to four, maybe five months to listen to all the podcasts, just trying to go to and from work and everything. Um, but... That, I guess, you know, again, that's where, like, once I started doing it, I'm like, I, and like, I'm now more confident with my affirmations. Like, I will say it, and, I, like, sometimes I'm like, I don't even need this true statement, but I still say it. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I know somehow my mind's going to go backwards or something like that. So, um, but yes, yeah, so basically I have the ones that it's, it's hoping I get out, I get to work, and I park my car, and I, I work at a university, so I, you know, park in a specific, specific parking lot, and then I walk on, you know, walk into to the office. But when I'm, like, putting my visor up or when I'm, like, grabbing out of my things, you know, out of the car, like, I actually will say them out loud while I'm, like, doing this stuff. And, you know, and then it doesn't waste any time, you know, because I'm just doing this stuff, talking, saying my affirmations. Um, and then I'm, and it's so funny, somebody saw, like, looked over, and like, why is she talking to herself? I don't know. But, um, so I say them out loud, and then every morning, and then, you know, I just go on my day. And, um, you know, there's the same ones for right now and everything like that. You know, I've considered changing them up, you know, now that, you know, there's, I've found some success with some of them. Um, but, um, yeah, that's, that's basically my story. <laughs> so how many do you say a day? Um, oh, um, probably about five, five, maybe six. Okay, that's good. Yes. And were they all different types of topics? Because you mentioned weight loss and debt, mm -hmm. and so they were all different things. Yeah, yeah. So I know there's, there's one podcast, and I have to go back and listen to it, and I need to write it down, leave things down. The, the, the lovely thing about listening to you in the car is that I like, you know, listening to you in the car. It's, it's a, a wonderful way to actually, like, pay attention to the road for me instead of, like, the music in the background. But the bad thing is I can't write anything down because I'm driving. <laughs> um, so there's one podcast that you had um, that was all about the types of, like, um, uh, money affirmations um, that you can do. So, you know, there was um, one, you know, like, uh, money comes easily and effortlessly to me, um, which was probably the only one I kind of, could kind of remember. <laughs> um, but, um, so, yes, there were, so basically there's, you know, one about money, there's um, one about, um, uh, like, my, my photography business, there's one about investing, because I still try to, I'm trying to really learn that. Um, there's one actually about just my work day, my, actually, like, my real full-time job um I actually say one about you know about my day for my job and stuff like that so yes it's a variety of them fantastic and how long do you think it well first of all how long did it take for you to feel something shift and then how long do you did it take before you really believed the affirmation um you know that's it yeah so it it probably took a good I don't know like three or four weeks maybe about a month before I start, I, I, I stopped feeling silly. <laughs> um, because again, I would say these every day, and it's just like, this is so weird. And I'm just, I, I say them out loud. I don't know if you can say it, but I guess to yourself. Or I haven't done the flip, flip a ground thing yet. But um, yes, it took me about a month to just say, you know what, this is my everyday life. This is what I'm just going to do. And um, that's when I, like, again, after about a month, then I really kind of started believing them. And now it's like, I, like, if I don't say them, I'm like, oh my goodness, I missed it. You know, um, and then I'll say I'm really quick or something like that. So, yeah, so I, I would say about three to four weeks to not feel silly doing it. Okay. And then when did you, did you start feeling a change of confidence or a certain groundedness with them or how did you feel the shift? 
Um, you know, I think it's just a feeling of, like, sort of where I, when I said the statement, I felt, like, the, the true statement afterwards, that's when I started feeling, like, like I, I, I believe it, like, you know, it's, I don't, I guess, I don't know, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> You just, you kind of noticed that you weren't arguing with yourself anymore. Yeah, exactly. After about three exactly. Or four like, weeks. Yeah. Yes. Because so there, there's, there's a point where I would have to say it right away. Like, as soon as I said my affirmation, I have to say it, my true statement right away. And then I noticed that when I said my true statement, and maybe sometimes I would forget, so I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like, because I have mine now where I know what I'm going to say right afterwards. But again, the first two, three, four days or something like that, um, or even like weeks, um, I was like, um, and I'm trying to think of a true statement, you know, um, and as I'm trying to think of a true statement, that's when I said, right, I can feel myself going to like, no, Maria, why are you saying this, right? Um, but I think once I found out, really, once I, I started, because I did, I, I guess I should say, I didn't start with like my five the whole time. Like, I think I started with two, um, just to kind of like, okay, let's just try it, let's see, right? And then I started adding more, like, as the weeks went on, but I had to find more true statements. So I was like, um, I'm wearing brown pants today. <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, but I found that if I had, uh, if I had a little bit of a break before I could think of a true statement, it was less and less of doubting myself. And I think that's when the shift happened. Because then I was like, whoa, I'm not doubting myself. I'm still trying to find my true statement, but I'm not going backwards, like, uh, negating myself or anything like that. Yeah, so, your subconscious yeah. isn't arguing yes. with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So does it make sense that it's really a matter of repetition? Just like advertising mm -hmm. on television is mm -hmm. simply repetition. And that's what, you know, I think people try to make affirmations so difficult or they you know, it's, I try to explain it just like an ad on TV because it's exactly the same, same concept where, you know, ads are, you know, there, we start singing the jingle in our head and we've memorized it. And all of a sudden we have a new belief about this yeah. product and it's simple repetition. And that's why companies will pay millions of dollars to have TV advertising, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. all they're doing is simple repetition with us. And so that's really what you're doing with the affirmations yes. is, but you're putting the true statements in just so that your subconscious can receive mm -hmm. it better and not argue with you. So yes. Does that make sense that the repetition is really? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Um, it's one, it's funny that you had mentioned a, like a study done on, I think it was water molecules or just water or something. Um, or maybe I, I read that somewhere. Um, but no, I, this, I did. Doc, yeah. Yes, Dr. Emoto. Yes, it, yeah. Yes. And I had read, I had actually read about that early, like, oh, I don't even know how long ago. Um, and, um, and I remember talking to somebody at work about it and I said, yes, you know, we're this, you know, this person, he, you know, um, you know, had a recorder and it was like, you know, as far as the wire goes, it was saying, you know, like, I love you and you're beautiful and you know, all this stuff. And the water was just like reacting like wonderfully. And then they ended up putting, um, the water, the same water into a negative environment, like where you're, you're ugly and you know, you're horrible and you know, this type of thing. And the water molecules were like dancing around and going crazy and everything. And I think it's because we're 60% made of water. I think that's what the scientific thing is. Maybe something like that. But I was like, if we're, if we're that much water and this scientist or this person did the study on water, we need to start telling ourselves again over and over the good things, right? Um, and so when you said that, um, and, and, and talked about that study, I was like, oh my goodness, she totally gets, gets it <laughs> or gets what I'm, I'm thinking or what I'm, I just confirming, right. Um, uh, what I'm believing, um, or that what I've read. And so, yes, yeah. that's, yeah. That, that study with Dr. Emoto is really interesting because actually he wrote a word. He wrote the word, like he wrote the word love oh. and put it on the outside. He didn't even uh -huh. say it or talk it. It was. Oh, okay. A written word. So he had love on one. I think he had hate on the other. Mm -hmm. And yeah, love, it would form perfect crystals, kind of like a snowflake yes. crystal, right? Yeah, the crystals, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, versus the negative ones were all disjointed and didn't form any, you know, perfect crystal, mm -hmm. weren't in a, a vibration that held it together, it was all disjointed. Yeah. So. Well, good for you. That's fantastic. Yes, thank, thank you. you. What would you tell listeners who either are skeptical about affirmations or have tried them in the past and not had success? Mm -hmm. What would you tell 
our listeners? Um, you know, just just go with it. Um, it may sound feel funny, silly, weird. Um, you may not believe it at the beginning, but I, again, I think if you have your affirmations and the true statements, if just repeat them. And it's funny how certain things you don't think are making sense at the time, it ends up making sense <laughs> at the end. Um, and again, we're just listening to your podcast, there are certain things that you're saying. And, and some of the stuff, you again, you repeat about um, paying off your debt in uh, percentages, right, with the, at the highest uh, um, interest rate first, rather than like the snowball thing. Because I tried the snowball thing. Don't worry. <laughs> um, oh, you but, tried the dead snowball. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yes. interesting. With the with <laughs> the, which which for anyone who's listening who doesn't know what that is, it's paying the smallest debts off first, whether or not it's the most expensive. It's it did it, it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. This is from another expert, um, but it's to you know pay off the smallest amount first, getting some momentum, and people have had success with that. Yeah. The problem is though that it delays improving your credit score. Because that's not what's taken, that's not what's going to improve your credit score the fastest. Mm-hmm. There's other things that come into play. And it's also not going to be necessarily the least expensive method because you might have higher interest mm-hmm. that's hanging out there that you haven't paid off yet. So what did you find worked for you? Um, so um, I think, the, again, I, know, I definitely know the snowball effect has, has worked, right? Um because, you know, again, again a lot of people have had success. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. But my thing is, and I think just with my blo- my own blockages, right, um, I would pay off or I would get closer to, like, if I get, got close to paying off a low debt, I would still see the really big debt. And to me, I'm like, oh, my goodness, I'm never going to get out of this. Like, that's, that was my block. Like, that, it's always there. This is never going to go down. It just keeps going up. It's just a big number looming over my head. Um, and so I think that was my thing where it just, to me, it didn't work for me. And again, I think different methods work for different people. Um, but again, I think with the affirmations, that when I first heard your interest rate thing, I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't see how you're saving money or how you're, you're earning back that money. Right. Um, and because I'm the English major in college, <laughs> like math is not my thing. And I'm like, I just don't get it. But I think after, with the affirmations, again, I think, Somehow, subconsciously, listening to, doing the affirmations, it, it all, it just, it came together. And, and I, I was like, okay, you know, let me try this whole interest rate thing. And so I, I actually, I have my, on my phone, I have my little notes, and I created like a little, like, um, uh, table. And I put, you know, my, uh, the name of my debt, I put the um, amount I owe, and then the actual interest rate. And I'm like, okay, let's, you know, I'll put the top one at the beginning, or the highest rate at the beginning. And I have like three of those. I still have one more double digit. I'm hoping to get that done, hopefully even by next year. But um, it's funny because once I started, once I started doing that, I don't know how it happened. And again, maybe I just don't understand the whole money thing completely. If I just felt like I had extra money, even though I was paying it, <laughs> like I was putting more money toward those double digits, somehow. It just felt like I just had more money. Like I was accomplishing something. And then once I actually got it down, like, I saw, like, I, you know, if it was, you know, from down from four or five digits down to three digits, I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to put all my money towards that. I, you know, <laughs> I'm like, I will make sure I don't buy anything else because I want to put all my money towards it because I want to get done so fast, you know, so quickly. Um, and so when I did that, it just, again, I was like, wow, like, I actually paid off kind of a big debt with a really high interest rate. And to me, I like that was like that was my thing. Like that I was like, you know what, I could do this. Because again, with this big looming debt over my head, I was actually able to cut down on a debt plus a really high interest rate. And it was just like, well, I can actually do this. I it, it just it was a good feeling. It was a good feeling. That is phenomenal. Congratulations. Thank that you. is amazing. That's amazing. And it is, I mean the whole concept is just if, you know, let's say Let's say the interest rate was 22%. So if you're not paying 22%, then it's like <laughs> earning 22%. So that's just, that's the concept. Yes, yes. yes. But I, I, exactly. In the beginning, I was like, earning? How am I earning that much? <laughs> when I'm still paying down this debt. But again, it's, it's so true because you, you never really thought about how the interest adds on to the debt. How much right. more. And it's just, oh my goodness. I, just, I, I was like, oh wait, I have to get these double digits down. I just have to get them down now. So... 
fantastic. And also the larger the debt, like the, the more of your credit limit that you have taken up. So let's say you had a $10,000 amount of credit available and you had $8,000 charged up. And so 80% of your credit was used up. Mm -hmm. that's a pretty high amount. So that's dinging your credit score more mm -hmm. than if you had a $10,000 credit allowance and you only had $2,000 yeah. or $1,000 charged mm -hmm. up. So th getting those that are the high balance first mm -hmm. are also important to do because that will actually improve your credit score more dramatically and faster. So that's why also I'm not a fan of the debt snowball because... If you paid off the one thousand dollar debt first, mm -hmm. your credit score wouldn't improve. Really. Mm -hmm. I mean, tiny, maybe a tiny yeah. amount by getting that paid off, but it would be dinged a lot by having that eighty percent credit taken up. So, so good for you. That is so amazing, Maria. That is really yeah. inspirational. I'm sure to a lot of people. So, congratulations and thank you for sharing that. Is there anything else you want to tell people or give suggestions or advice? <laughs> Oh How gosh! Successful uh, with affirmations. I know. Um. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm, just, I'm sure there's so much stuff. And I'll probably DM you like, "Look at that! I'll like, have more stuff for you." Um. But no, I, like, I, I think it really started with the daily affirmations. I think that was a, a huge. And, and the one thing is, maybe it's not affirmations for somebody. Maybe it's something different. But it still ties back to mindset. And because that's the foundation of what you teach and what you believe, I think that that's where someone just should just start listening to what you're saying about mindset. Start there, no matter where they come from. Because, <laughs> um, again, I, I, I DM'd you a few of my things that I've been through. Um, and I think, again, as far as mindset, just start there. And, again, if the affirmations work, if um, it's something more, uh, you know, a little bit different, um, differently, um, then let's just try it because it, it, it really does work. It might take some time, but, you know, it might, you might, that, that's still silly, but it does, it does work. It really does. Yeah, and it's interesting because usually it is around three weeks. You know, and just, oh, okay. just like people say 21 days to make a new habit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, although a lot of people can feel a shift within a couple of days. I know myself. Especially like around exercise, which I'm not a fan of exercise, so I have to do affirmations <laughs> around that. I can feel my attitude shift, and I can feel myself wanting to go exercise after just a few days of doing mm -hmm. affirmations. But it takes probably three weeks to really make a new habit and get it really ingrained in your brain and a new neural pathway in there, which is really yes. what we're doing with the affirmations is creating those new neural pathways. Yes. And I also think like repeating some of your podcasts, because again, I try to like slam through all 400 at <laughs> some point in time, even you know, working like in the backyard, I was like, I'm going to put her on, <laughs> I'll listen. Um, but again, I, um, again I, I started going back to the ones that resonated with me that, that basically I'm going through right now. Um, and I think again, with the repetition, with the podcast that I really like caught my attention, I think with that, I, that's where it, it's, I've been able to take a lot more because I'm paying attention at, or at least writing notes down because I'm not in the car or something like that. Um, I think that's also helpful too. So um, just going back to the podcast that you actually do like or that you want to learn more about, um, that's, yeah, it's been helpful. Fantastic. Well, Maria, thank you so much. I, I know that you're going to help a lot of people with your story and give them a lot of inspiration. And so congratulations I hope so. on your success. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.